Hey y'all, it's Jaja, and today's video is going to be like a little life update. If the, if the lighting is weird, it's because I'm outside, and like, I'm right smack dead in the sun, so <laughs> all this melanin is panopping right now. But um, this video is going to be about my big chop feelings about like post big chop, stuff like that. Um, I haven't really answered anybody's questions about uh, my life as far as whether or not I'm still a student and what I'm gonna do and what I've been doing so this is just a little mini update so first hmm, what should we talk about first let's talk about my hair first so I cut my hair because I had my hair for like my whole life to be honest I started my locks when I was two then I like took them out for like a little short period of time but I was still young like then I got them back then I had them from that I can remember without like taking them out again from first grade to I recently just cut them and I've cut them I've dyed them I've styled them all of that and I was just like super bored plus because my hair was so long it was getting like really thin and my like my hair was growing in thin so I wanted to just start that process over and just freely grow my hair so as of right now my hair like the last time I checked, my hair was, like, up here. I'll show you when I take this crochet out of my head. But, like, it's long enough for me to, like, do stuff with it. But it's not long enough for me to do things that I want to do with it. Like, I really want... I can't wait till my hair gets, like, this long. Like, when my natural hair is like this, bro. I'm gonna love it so much. So, yeah. Um, will I ever get dreads back? Yeah. Like... I definitely miss my hair but I'm having fun also like taking a break from having dreads so that's nice um, I got questions about whether I was gonna sell my hair no like honestly nah like my hair is literally in a bag and my room like tucked underneath something cuz it just holds too much sentimental value and I really it's just a lot that goes into your hair period like as a person so if I didn't like, if I wasn't planning on reattaching them, I would have burned it because that's my hair. Like, I take ownership of that, even though it's still not attached to my head. It's still mine. So, the answer to that question is no. Um, and then, yeah. So, what I'm going to do for, like, the next hairstyle, no idea. Sometimes it gets a little annoying because I never really had to, like, put that much energy into doing my hair. Because with locks, you just retwist it get up and go like moisturize it every now and then but now I actually like have to be on it like I really got to make sure that I moisturize my hair I really got to make sure that like I'm taking care of my hair so sometimes that takes a lot of energy out of me but I mean I would rather create the habits now so that when I get my locks back then I probably take better care of them because I really wasn't moisturizing my hair like that I don't know why that's sticking out but i really wasn't moisturizing my locks i was just really lazy with my hair and i really feel like that neglect kind of like my hair is not like destroyed but it's not in the healthiest condition that it was so yeah now with me as far as like school and stuff <clears throat> so <clears throat> i left school i was not planning on not going back to school let me first clarify that part there was a situation that happened where I felt like there was actually many situations. If you want to know about my college experience, just ask for a story time. Cause that literally that video is like, that could be a like almost five part series video just in itself, like for real. But I haven't really felt ready to talk about that. But if you would like to know that, let me know. But um, in short, there was experiences and the last experience really made me feel uncomfortable and it made me feel like it was like confirmation that that was not somewhere that I needed to be because of how other parties that were involved in the situation reacted to something that happened and I don't want to like fully go into detail because <clears throat> it's not something that just affected me but I kind of feel like the result of what happened to me can be discussed if that's something that interests you but i've told people on like a personal like one-to-one -one level but i haven't like put it out there yet but uh what had happened was i was gonna come home in the summer oh if you don't know i was going to school in minnesota 
um, I was gonna come home for two weeks to like take a little vacation during summer break but then the two weeks turned into me taking a semester off and then eventually decided that I wasn't gonna go back to that school now as of right now I definitely want to go back to school but I'm also considering other career paths and like future paths that I don't necessarily want to speak about yet because I don't want to jinx it or like I don't want to think too much about it in a sense where I talk myself out of doing it because it's things that I've been thinking about doing for a long time two I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to say something or like I don't want to make it seem like I'm committed to something and then I'm not gonna do it like this YouTube channel for example um my heart is in YouTube but like I just don't have time to commit to making videos and editing and stuff like that because I like things to be done a certain way and when it's not I just get aggravated but that's neither here nor there so that's about school now do I miss Minnesota absolutely like that state just has like a warm spot in my heart because my best friends are still there some of my best friends like the ones that I've made in college are still there like the night before I left was so crazy and like this past summer I honestly feel like it was the best summer that I've ever had and I don't know like I just really miss being around all of that positive energy like I like Jersey but there's more to life than Jersey and that goes for anywhere anybody where you at there's more to life than your home state hometown all of that like I'm really about exploring getting out there traveling just having multiple perspectives and I really don't feel like I could do that just by being here so that's another thing that's kind of like playing into my decision about what my next move is but I'm also considering a lot of different things to be my next move so it's just trying to get myself to buckle down and concentrate on what I really want to do and other news is that I'm about to be 21 <laughs> my birthday is approximately in almost a month it's January 7th so I'm thinking about vlogging what I'm gonna do for my birthday but it's really gonna be lit like if everything goes as planned the Lord I really hope he's gonna be on my side like if everything goes as planned I'm gonna have an amazing 21st birthday and it's important and special to me because I never 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 really like really do anything for my birthday other than go out to eat like I don't know I just never really took the time to invest in my birthday so this time i'm actually gonna plan get it all together and hopefully it goes as planned so yeah but it'll i will definitely try to post more videos before then so that going into the new year you have more stuff to watch but yeah i don't know my youtube is not really traditional so that's why i don't want to be like another person who does makeup there life story talks like i mean i do like speaking on a personal level but like story times i don't really have any memories that i really want to share like that that are appropriate or that i feel like other people would enjoy as much as me but i mean if that's what you want that's what you want like i'm still trying to decipher what this channel is going to be about but at the end of the day like it's me i really am just too lazy to edit like that's all it is i don't want to edit like no i don't have time so i don't know i'm gonna try to like sit myself down i have a whole notebook full of youtube channel ideas and like videos that i should have been recorded i'm on my like second notebook it's really bad but i'm really gonna try to get myself together because i feel like this could really be my outlet and if nobody else is interested in it that's fine but as long as i get my words out there and get it off my chest i could just let it go so i think that's the role i'm gonna take on this so y'all bear with me but if you want to see more videos please like comment subscribe and follow me on my social media instagram is at gorgeous underscore snapchat is j-a-h-h-r-e-e jiree -E, that's the second part of my first name if you didn't know that um that's why i go by jaw some people are confused about that gorgeous like it's my name everything has my name in it but yeah those are my two main social media points i'll also leave them in the description box below but um side note can we just appreciate this hair like i wasn't really feeling it then i cut it and now i'm feeling it again but i actually want to cut my own hair but i'm kind of indecisive like trying to see what looks good on me but i really feel like full like 
full curly hair looks good like my dreads i never really styled them so they were always straight but then i don't know if y'all peeped but it was a picture on my instagram and i think a video where i had like a straight bob girl or guy i was not no i i will do a review on that that piece right there that unit had me stressed so wigs are definitely not for me like trial and error was not a success but um yeah i'm gonna go because i'm rambling at this point but i'll catch you on my next video